So one of the highlights of our first show is our trip to ESPN in Bristol, Connecticut. So Cam, do you know what ESPN stands for? You caught me, Alexis. What does it mean? All right, ESPN stands for Entertainment Sports Programming Network, and Alex Reamer got to go one-on-one -on -one with the host of Baseball Tonight, Needham's own Carl Ravitch. So Carl Ravitch, welcome to uh, K-Sports New England. I'm sure you're very happy to be here. I'm uh, delighted to be here. <laughs> uh, baseball Tonight, we were talking about this a little off there. Let's bring it on the air. Going on the road this season, the first time that Baseball Tonight's going to do that. What are your general thoughts on that, and wh why, why decision to do that this season? I think there's a variety of reasons. I think one of them had to do with kind of livening it up a little bit, taking it on the road. We've, we've been on the road before. We've right. done shows uh, from Yankee Stadium and Fenway and Wrigley, and they're usually very good. Anytime I think we can increase our visibility with the fan, the baseball fan, and see us at the field, I think that's important. And clearly, having another network dedicated to baseball kind of uh, lit a little fire under us to say, okay, well, how do we kind of advance this program? Welcome to the program. Yeah, so we get a smile here from John Crock, Bobby Valentine. I'm Carl Ravitch. How has the MLB Network changed how you operate on baseball tonight, or has it changed how you operate at all? I don't think it's. I don't think it's changed how we operate. I think there's more attention being paid to it in this building. Um, I, we were probably taken for granted in a lot of ways for so many years because there was no other place to really go to get your baseball highlights, and now you can do that. Um, but having said that, uh, we have certainly hired much better people than we had in the past. If you think about the people that are on our staff as analysts and the things that they've accomplished in baseball, whether it be Oral Hershiser or Valentine or Nomar Garcia Parra or Barry Larkin who's going to be a Hall of Famer this summer or Winfield is a Hall of Famer, you, you, can't, you cannot look at what we have versus what they have or anyone else and not think that what we have serves the viewer better than anybody. Hear a lot about revenue sharing and about how small and middle market teams are, are now more financially competitive with the big market teams. I feel like we still see a lot of the major stars not going to small markets, going to the big markets. Do you think that's largely good or bad for the game? Uh, I think that the revenue sharing is working. I think that a team like the Kansas City Royals in the next couple of years will be competitive. What I've always looked at and I think what baseball needs to look at is the ability to kind of maintain sustained consistency you know and the Red Sox have not always succeeded and the Yankees were not very good uh, in the 80s I think the counter argument to your question is why can't the Kansas City Royals pay Albert Pujols I think if you were to look at the ownership of some of these teams they have the they have the wherewithal to do it and the Yankees and others might argue that you know if they were willing to invest in their players the way we do uh, that you'd see more people in the stands, you'd have more wins, there'd be greater tev television revenue because more people would watch. So it's a fine line to say that uh, it's unfair to be in the Pittsburghs and the Kansas City markets because some of those owners have the wherewithal to do it and you can conceivably build a much greater fan base and have greater revenue streams if you're willing to take that risk. So Carl, I've been on ESPN campus for a couple hours today and the most amazing thing that happened to me when I walked in is just the, the overall culture here and the campus feel like going on college tours. I feel like ESPN is a college. I got a cafeteria, a gym, obviously much of an atmosphere than other TV networks. So what's the feeling that you have here in, in comparison to other networks? Well, uh, I got here in, let's see, 93. So I've been here 17 years. I'm 46 now and you, you are blessed to be able to feel like you're really 26 because of the, the kind of the youth and the energy that, that exists here. Uh, it's definitely a, a college atmosphere. There's a gym here. There are people who are just out of college. And the fact that the campus continues to grow, when you refer to this place as a campus, that's certainly your first thought is that's what you associate with colleges. So the changes, um, the, the one consistent has been the energy in this place and the enthusiasm. I think the one part about the college atmosphere that, that is a little different here than at a college is we're all trying to do our best but we're not necessarily competing with the guy or woman that's sitting next to us we're kind of working with them and that's I think probably the fundamental difference between a college atmosphere. How are the frat parties here? <laughs> the last one I went to was off campus <laughs> back in 1994 it was a good one <laughs> haven't been to many since. Carl Roberts, thanks for your time. All right.